like what am i doing here having a love interest in another country and know that like what's meant to be will be welcome guys i hope you enjoy this video of me getting ready and giving you an update on my life i will be talking about mental health i will be talking about being in a funk love interest studying abroad nightlife and just how i'm doing in college and yeah so hope you like the video okay so i am going into my senior year of college and i am super excited i can't wait to be back and see all my friends that i haven't seen in so long oh my god there's turkeys on my yard oh my god they're literally huge let's start with the skin this is Haley Bieber's road i'm using this as like a lip treatment um, i'm like ready to do school things like go to football games i'm ready for it to be fall i'm ready for like new newness because i feel like summer has lasted forever for some reason um and i'm also excited for it to kind of be the end goal um i've been in school my whole life so i'm just kind of over it now i'm over having to write papers i'm over spending my time going to class and like having to be in that town to go to class and i'm just over the stress of it all and i wanna i'm ready for like the next step in my life when i can put my time to stuff i actually want to do i have one year left so i'm really excited to almost be done with that all right, so now I'm gonna talk about kind of what it's like coming back from studying abroad. So when I first got home, I was good for like the first couple of weeks. I was good, excited to be back, seeing friends, kind of still adjusting. And everything was like weird at first being back after you get used to like just a different way of living. And people say when you get back from abroad, it's easy to be depressed just because you go from like living a dream life to back in the same spot that you were um and i know when my sister came back from abroad um it was really rough for her for like a year she had a really rough time and she missed it a lot and was just not doing good um so i knew that like it wasn't gonna necessarily be all sunshine and rainbows all summer yeah it started off good i started off with really good habits from europe just like eating good day-to-day -day routines like exercising like i was being super healthy and i still am um but as the summer went on i kind of went through like an emotional roller coaster um mentally emotionally whatever just lots of ups and downs right now i'm good i've gotten a lot better but there were certain points in the summer where it was super low and I was kind of just in a funk and I just had to like go through it. Um, you can't really push those feelings away because you need to feel them to like let them pass. Basically, I was living in the past or the future and I couldn't get myself to just live in the moment and be excited for now and be excited about life. All I could think about was the past of what I just lived and what the future is gonna be like I already I just wanted to like travel more I was like what am I doing like why am I in school what am I doing like like what am I doing here type of thing I was just like questioning everything and like all I wanted to do is travel go back to Italy and see um so I did have a love interest, so that played a part of like making the summer a lot harder. The setting as well, but like definitely the love interest. So I just wanted to go back and see him, but I couldn't. And so that's what like made it really hard is I had to like somehow like get past that funk and figure out how to be excited for life here and how to not just let life pass me by. Like you can't just live in the past after living such exciting days and experiencing new things every day and having the time of my life to then go back to this mundane lifestyle here like same old same old old routines old life was really hard because you feel like my soul just felt so full and at peace and happy i was the happiest i've ever been in my life there and to come back here it was definitely like a challenge because i'm coming back to the same place but i'm a different 
person I'm like a newer version of myself grown you know what I mean like so it's definitely a challenge and I know you can find the joys here in everyday life if you want to um, but it's just gonna take me a little while to actually do that um, it's easier said than done because you really do have to like work at it every day to like romanticize your life here even going out here is hard for me because it's not like it was going out in Italy, which is something I have to learn to accept <laughs> um, because I turned 21 like right before I left for Italy. So I only went out like once or twice um, and going out in Italy is just the most amazing experience. The vibes, the people, the places. When you go to the club, it's literally the most fun experience vibey thing ever. I don't know how to explain it, but it's not like here. <laughs> um, and so it's hard for me. Even when I go out here, I'm like, I get to the place and I'm like, well, what am I doing? Um, I know it depends on who you're with. You can still have fun, but it's just like, it's hard to go from like experiencing what I did back to like normal going out here. This lip gloss smells like something from my childhood. It's like some cotton candy something. I don't know, but it's heavenly. This is just the NYX. This is milky gloss. A nice light pink. Anyways. Another thing that was hard for me is I, was, I really liked how things were and I didn't want things to change. Um, but change is constant. Change is part of life and things naturally evolve and naturally change um so once i accepted that i couldn't keep things the same as they were like life was going to change and that's okay things have started to get better but for a little while it was hard because i couldn't control things and i was trying to and i just had to let things be and let things flow but yeah having a love interest in another country is not the easiest i'm like very private about that stuff because it's private life but I do want to say that we do still talk he's literally like will be my best friend for life um but yes right now we literally FaceTime like every day so that's a little update on that if you wanted to know so and I wanted to tell people that it is okay not to be okay life isn't gonna be constant positivity and with me that's even hard because i'm such a positive person but you will have moments where you're not and that is totally normal totally okay um i've had so many people and like so many reminders recently about how like in your 20s like it's okay to not have your shit figured out like no one knows what they're doing even if they look like they do no one actually has everything figured out everyone's always like chasing the next step wanting the next thing, wishing they had this, wishing they had that. So it's okay if you don't know what you're doing or where you want to go or where you want to live or what you want to pursue. But it's about like finding that and I think you should always follow your passions and your gut and yeah. Um, recently to like talk about why I'm saying this, like I have just, just like questioning everything. Um, and then also I've been really hard on myself this summer because I have so many goals that I want to accomplish that I've had for so long that I just never get myself to do. And it's like I have so many things that I can't just pick one because I have so many and then I don't end up doing anything or like working on anything. And then I'm like, what are you doing? Like, why can't you just do it? For example, like this YouTube, I started it and I'm glad that I do, but it's hard for me to be consistent with it. Pulling out the camera kind of like ruins the moment and I don't like to like, I like to live in the moment and it's hard to do that when you pull out a camera and like film something um so it's like hard to like i don't want to like vlog every day type of thing and i don't <laughs> um but yeah and then editing is just a whole nother thing i do love editing but i've also started to like despise it because i'm such a perfectionist and i try to like edit things so that people like perceive me a certain way um so that has been hard um, because I do want to be consistent, but it's just like YouTube is such a long run thing Like I feel like it's such a slow growing thing and it's like right now TikTok is really popular. So I'm like 
I should be starting TikTok, but I get so scared to post on TikTok and like be consistent because I'll post like one video and it'll get like no views and I'm like, I give up, like this is embarrassing. <laughs> um. Like right now I literally just want to make money and I want to save money so I can like have more travel experiences and make experiences for myself and be able to like get an apartment where I want and when I want and it's so hard because it's like I want money now and then it's like but I have to go to school soon and then spend all my time doing that what I've been reminding myself is small habits are super important what makes a successful day is doing a bunch of successful things like if you get the things done you need to do in a day, that's one successful day that will lead to many successful days if you keep doing that. So I saw a TikTok and it was like instead of like looking at success as like up on the ladder, just look at it as like day by day like successes. And it's so doable. And yeah, I've been focusing on my habits this summer a lot because that is super important. And trying to keep my physical and mental health in check for sure. So... Honestly, I'm feeling great, but I'm not going anywhere. You are a circle, and so up top is like the point when you're feeling great, you're doing all the things you should be doing, you're reading, you're meditating, you're eating healthy, you're exercising, you're in like a manifesting state, you're like wanting to better your life, and then you fall back down into the state of like not doing the things that you should be doing and just not feeling your best. Um, Basically, it's normal to fall back in that state to see the steps you need to take when you're at your highest. So you're going to be low and you're going to come back up at some point. And then you're going to be high, vibrating, good energy, good vibes, manifesting. And at some point, you're going to come down again because change is constant and that's okay. Um, so that like really put it in perspective for me. Like You're not going to be okay all the time because that's life. And that's perfectly normal and that just helps you see your next steps for when you are in that manifesting period. So that concludes my video. I hope you enjoyed um, a little update on my life. Give this video a like.